Hey darlings, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing something a little bit different. So, the past week I actually started my own small business supplying quality makeup supplies to Trinidad and Tobago. So, yay me! I feel so happy. I actually got my first sale already. Like, y'all don't know how freeing it is to have your own small business and to do something with passion that you're proud of. Right now, I have four different eyeshadow palettes and I know sometimes it can be overwhelming when you're trying to pick an eyeshadow palette because all of them look so good. So today, I'm here to show you how to get the most out of your eyeshadow palettes. Step one, first you need to understand that there are three types of finishes of eyeshadow. So there's creamy, there's matte, and then there's glimmery or shimmery. Now one thing with these shimmery eyeshadows, you could only use it in two places. The first place is as the main color, and the second place is if you want angel eyes, like how I have here. Oops. Or oh, ploops. Right? The reason that shimmery will go in those spots is because it brings out the color, it brings out the pigment. So those are the two key areas that you want to focus with your shimmery. That's the only two places you're going to put your shimmery eyeshadow. If you put it in the corner or anywhere else, you're going to look like a clown, trust me. Save yourself the time. Now with creamy eyeshadows, you can basically use those anywhere on your eye. Um, however, you would need to have a lighter eyeshadow for the front of your eye and a darker eyeshadow for the back of your eye, which would be in this area, as well as underneath. The same thing goes for a matte finish. Those are interchangeable, it could go anywhere. Just remember, light on the inner side and dark on the outer side and underneath. Step two, you need to know how colors are applied to the eye. So let me come up in your business. Right, so we could all see my big eye, right? <laughs> I'll pick this up. Right. So you'll see that the transition color is here. I chose to use a red because it helps to bring out neutral colors. Now when you're choosing a transition color, you want to stick with a red or purple or browns, those sort of warm colors because those help to bring out the entire eye look. So then, after the transition color, we have a color that goes right here. In this area, you want to apply a dark eyeshadow so that you could give your eye a three-dimensional look. So you want to have a dark color on like this third of your lid. A dark color, it could be any dark, it's a dark color. So it could be dark green, dark blue, dark purple, dark red, black. Anyhow you feel once it matches the color and we'll get into matching in a little bit Now after your corner color you have a base color that is actually underneath this the base color is like a neutral tone So based on what kind of uh, look you're going for is what shade you will use so I usually use either a brown that is similar to my skin tone or a neutral pink or if I have a more smoky or blue look I might use a neutral blue or neutral green then you have in the corner here I like to do angel eyes so angel eyes it's very easy to do you just use any light color so it could be white it could be gold it could be light purple light blue light pink again it's based on the overall look that you're going to achieve and you just in the corner there it actually helps to brighten and make your eyes look more open so that's why I like to do it and then you will have your main color which is in the middle here now your main color I would suggest that it's a shimmery color as I said before and you put it there and by doing that it makes an entire 3d effect and to close it all together to complete your look you just put a darker eyeshadow underneath here now you want to stay away from black because it might be too harsh. I would generally suggest dark brown. Dark brown goes with anything. Now the third thing I want to mention is that there are different ways to do eyes. Now the ways that I learned it was that you have a two color eye and you have a three color eye. All that simply means is that if it's a two color eye, the color that you have in the corner is going to go halfway onto the lid and then the color that you have in the corner will go halfway onto the lid and then you blend it together and it will still give you that same 3d effect it's just that you're going to use two colors the three color effect is what i just explained where you would have your 
corner color, which would be the dark color, your base, your angel eye, and then on top of the base, you would put a little shimmery glimmer, which would more than likely be a highlight of what is underneath. So if I have dark blue in the corner, more than likely I'm going to put a shimmery blue on top. I mean, you could use any color, but again, I would suggest using colors that go together. So that takes me to my fourth point, which is a brief knowledge of the color wheel. So, it looks a little bit intimidating, but let me tell you, it's very easy. So you have three primary colors. You all learned this in school. So you have red, blue, yellow, right? When you mix red and blue, you get purple. When you mix blue and yellow, you get green. When you mix yellow and red, you get orange. These are your secondary colors. Now, when you mix those colors, it gets split up accordingly. So you then have your red, orange, and yellow, orange. Then you have red, purple, blue, purple. You have yellow, green, and blue, green. And so it goes. So, within this color wheel <laughs> that you should be seeing here, um, there are two types of colors. There's two types of ways to blend. So there's analogous colors. That just means using the colors that are on either side of the color wheel. So let's say you have purple. You can either use red or blue or, or a combination of both to get a really good eye look. If you're using green, you can use blue and yellow as well to get a really good complete eye look. If you're using colors like gold, you can use gold in place of both orange and yellow. So let's say you're using gold, you can also use orange yellow as well as red and green and then there are complementary colors now complementary colors are just colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel so you have red and green you have blue and orange you have purple and yellow you know so that's how it goes you could also use these colors to put together an eye look so my fifth tip when you're actually buying your eyeshadow palettes the first thing I would suggest is to look at the shimmery colors because these will be your main colors that you're putting on your lid, right? Second to that, you look for the colorful, colorful colors. Those, again, will be the main color that you put on your eye. When you identify those colors, you would then look to see the analogous and complementary colors to see how well you can fit in your eyeshadow look. Now, keep in mind that colors like gold, and bronze and brown those actually go with a lot of different eye looks the sixth step or the sixth thing to know is your personality because if I know that I'm very wild and adventurous and out there of course I would want to get colors of course I want to get all the colors underneath the wind so that I could do you know red today orange tomorrow blue next week purple next month I don't know I wouldn't really go towards like neutral colors however if I am more chic and reserved and you know I don't really like colors most of my wardrobe is black anyway I'll go for neutrals now thank god I am in between so honey some days I wear all black and some days I like to wear color today is one of the days I like to wear color but I did a fairly neutral eyeshadow tone because I like to contrast so if I'm wearing all black I might might have a very colorful eye look or if I'm wearing colors I might mute it down a little bit so let's go through some palettes so you can see you know exactly what to look for so I'm very brand loyal to BH Cosmetics I'm real sorry but they have quality eyeshadows and brushes for a very good price so I have been very brand loyal to them this is the very first palette that I bought before, you know, being experienced in the makeup world. So I bought a 120 palette, right? I was like, yes, I'm getting all the colors on any the sun. It's 120 colors. I would not ever need any other palette again. It was only upon further inspection when I was looking that I saw, hey, there are some colors that... I'm probably not going to use because some of these are shimmery but it's dark so you will get a very smoky effect and I don't really wear smoky eyes so as you can see my most used colors are the browns the purples um, some whites and gold shimmer you know for the highlights around my eyes 
so yeah this is what i bought before i knew anything about anything buying based on that is not a really good tactic because you wouldn't guess it but i could never make a red eyeshadow look with this because there's only one red and it's a very dark red so at some point i'm going to need another palette so don't ever buy eyeshadow palettes thinking that you could buy one and only one eyeshadow palette to cover everything you you can't sorry so let's go into the eyeshadow palettes that i actually bought to resell <laughs> so this is summer loving so you can see that there's one two three four five six shimmery colors so you know immediately those are going to be the main color on your eye and you see that it has darker colors like these to really go in the corner and then these neutral tones right to go in the middle underneath the main color so this would be a really good buy for warm tones and we have the desert oasis right this is a 19 color palette and when you open it up you see that the majority of them are shimmery and that's really good so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven the majority of them are shimmery so now you know that hey i could actually come with a blue eye today on a rose eye tomorrow a more uh neutral or pinky eye than the next day and you can mix it up because based on what color you use in your corner you could actually change it up so you could actually have a blue look with the green shadow and then change it up another day with the brown it'll look completely different so you can actually switch and interchange to get different looks i would really recommend this for um <laughs> for um persons who like more muted uh looks with a little pop of color then we have brazil palette this is a 35 color palette and as you can see there's a lot of colors that are popping so you could actually use any of these colors as the main color so you automatically have what 32 main colors from this it's very easy to do the two color eyeshadow look now you would use these colors here mainly at the bottom and at this side as a shadow in the corner and you can also use the black to slightly get it a little bit dark if it's not as dark as you like and then you have all of these different colors to choose from to be the main color so it's a very good buy and the last eyeshadow palette that i have is the bh studio pro it's a 42 color neutral palette and this is probably the most amazing palette i have ever bought and let me tell you why you see the bottom three rows all of those are shimmery and the top three rows are matte which means that you basically can get eight plus different neutrals looks because again you could always mix and match so you can take a very shimmery gold very pronounced gold and team it up with a very dark brown or you can take a more neutral you know brown and complement it with some white some yellows and come in with a warm brown you can really do a lot with this palette and of course you don't always have to stick to one palette these come like a match made in heaven because you can use any of these colorful ones as the main color and then you could always come in with this to either pronounce it with a darker color in the corner or to highlight with a light color in the front of your eye and then of course you can underline your eye with these darker colors so what are some of your favorite palettes i feel like i just really love neutrals but i love pop of colors as well but oh my gosh this bh studio pro amazing i love it i love it because you can achieve so many different looks <laughs> if you like this video give me a thumbs up Remember to subscribe to my channel for more beauty content. <laughs> and I will see you darlings next week. <laughs> Later.